Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Paul Pluto channel, guys, here I am doing a paid review. Paid review 24QA 29. Quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Zenith. I'm wearing a Zenith. A Zenith chronograph. Zenith chronograph. Absolutely love my Zeniths. Look at that. Okay, guys, we're going to look at a collection today. Middle-aged man, middle-aged wealth, earning capacity, 47 is your peak, guys. Remember that. Let's run the intro and let's discuss this cool collection. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury, and you are on the Archie Luxury channel. Excuse a little bit of white there. I was just pulling out the nose hair with the wax. Okay, here we go, guys. Hi, Arch. Hi, Arch. First off, grateful for a shout out to my two lads, Zach, 12 years old, and Oscar, nine. They both regularly look over my watch box and debate argue which ones they will get when i eventually kick the bucket what a depressing thought but at least it is getting them into the hobby that isn't and it's simply is it sorry at least it is getting them into a hobby that isn't simply video games i'm sure they're keen to hear what the pontiff thinks of their old man's collection mm, what do you reckon I agree with this here. I really do agree. I I think this could be a good little collection. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Before we start reading what is the collection, let's get this fucker up on the screen. Let's have a look. Because it's always good to get a glance, a gander. What is this collection? He's got a wolf box. Um... I got to tell you, I quite like a wolf box. Wolf box, they're a pretty good way to store your stuff. Let's bring it up on the screen now. There we go. Look at that. Um, mm, nice. Nice collection. Very nice. Okay. One thing that hits me first is I like the fact we've got a big Rolex contingent. We've got other brands and other stuff, but we've got a good Rolex contingent. Anyway, we'll keep this short. I'm a 41. 41's not middle-aged. It's young. 41-year-old 40, civil servant have been lucky to represent my country overseas for the vast majority of the last 20 years on the diplomatic circuit. I started collecting when I was in my early 20s and have slowly added pieces to the collection. Over the past 20 years. Usually around milestones, big birthdays, children's births, new jobs, postings, etc. Recently, I have increasingly felt like I am falling out of love with the hobby. I am tired of the recent hype and hysteria around certain models. The irony is not lost on me. Uh, therefore... I have fallen for the hype myself. For cut, yes, I can see that. Look at the front row. He's got a bat, girl, and a and a sermit. Having added a couple of overexposed pieces through the years, with this recent molasses, I've fully withdrawn from online forums and watch groups, and rarely. View online content. Still click on all of yours, of course. I would welcome your suggestions on how to proceed. Should I stop and enjoy what I have? 
consolidate my collection into a smaller number of into smaller number of pieces or get over the molasses and power on adding some new exciting pieces any and all suggestions from the pontiff is welcome so let's have a look at the collection let's have a look at this with some bigger detail okay let's let's do that let's let's enjoy okay my collection here we go first thing we've got we'll start on the top corner pam panerai pam 773 new version of the base logo um and i gotta say yep yep that is it's a nice 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 watch this one has the in-house p6000 manual wind i gotta tell you i kind of like etas in pams believe it or not but yep nice piece Next, we got a Jager Lukultra, Jager Lukultra, Master Compressor Navy Seals. Have this on a rubber composite bracelet, which I love the look of, but rarely wear. You should wear that. That's a great looking watch. We got a Tudor Black Bay. I just got one of these myself, Tudor Black Bay Pro. Uh, got this as I couldn't get an experience. What's it? No, 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 no. He's he's sorry. Right, he's mixed the order up. Sorry, he's not not the Burgundy. He means the Tudor Black Bay Pro, reference seven nine four seven zero. Got this as I couldn't get an Explorer two. It has not really satisfied the itch. I like it, but I don't love. Fuck! Come on. I actually I would add one of these. I think they're fucking beautiful. I actually want one. Okay, fuck, I've just had a lightning bolt, lightning bolt moment from the pontiff. I want one of these for myself. Tudor Black Bay Pro, yes, sir. Then we've got a Grand Seiko Snowflake. Reference SBGA211, spring drive movement. I love this watch, a definite keeper. Also love that most people think it's just a Seiko. Yes, that's a good point. He's also got a Speedmaster, Speedmaster. Pro Moonwatch, Manual Wind, House of Light, my most loved and newest watch, 40th birthday present for my wife, a keeper. The watch that is still undecided about her. Yes, I know the fucking feeling. And then we're going to look at his Rolexes. Rolexes are very important. We've got a Milgauss. Milgauss 11640GV. Black dial, green sapphire, my first Rolex, still my fa one of my favorites, a keeper. Then we've got a Rolex date, 1500. This is from 1982. Hey, I'm 1972. Birth year watch, I know it feels a bit cringe-worthy. It's 34 mil, considered too small in modern times, but despite that, I love this one and wear it more than most others. Wow. I was actually going to tell you to piss this one off, but maybe keep it. Birth year. That's kind of cool. Then we've got a Rolex Submariner, 124060. Ceramic, no date. Most worn watch overall. And then we've got a Sermit. Uh, one of the most hype pieces. I One of the hype pieces I referred to earlier, yet I like it. Then we've got a Batgirl. GMT Master 2, 126710 BLNR, Batgirl on Jubilee. This was my grail. Yep, I get that. It's a grail. And possibly the watch that made me fall out of love with watches. I got caught up in the hype and paid more than, well, everyone pays more than retail for that sort of watch. Um, He goes on. And yet I hardly ever wear it. I want to love it. It's beautiful, but it doesn't get much risk time considering selling. No, don't sell the fucking thing. You're being a dick. Okay. You're being a public service dick. Don't do that. I have another couple of pieces. Casio's, Hamilton, Long Jeans, Tissot, all of which are either worthless beaters or have a sentimental value as they were anniversary gifts from the missus and therefore must stay in the collection. For the sake of bravery, I won't go into each of the... Yeah, please, please don't bore me with your garbage. Uh, but you've sent me a picture in case. I'm not interested. 
I also have a couple of standalone pieces of my favorites. I don't give a fuck. You're paying me for the review, not you. So that's the sum of it. A middle-aged man who spent way too much on steel sports divers and are unsure where to go from here. Looking forward to the video. Keep smiling. All the best. Well, let me say to you, you're 10 years younger than me. I would fucking love to be 41 instead of 51. You're a whiny son of a bitch. Whiny fucking son of a bitch. Quit whining. Okay? Quit fucking whining. That's what I would do. Number one, quit with the fucking whining. It's a great collection. I wouldn't sell a damn thing. I was going to say maybe piss off um, piss off the, um, the 1500 Rolex state. But you know what? In reflection, just keep the fucking thing. I love the whole collection. And you're talking about you spent so much. You're a fucking stingy cunt. A stingy fucking cunt. You haven't spent real money. This isn't expensive. There's no precious metal in here. What the fuck are you talking about? Come on. This collection's very modest. Humble, modest. That's the words I'd fucking use. What would I add? Okay, you want to stay with steel sports or white metal genre? Simple. I'd add a Breguet Type 20. Get a fucking Breguet Type 20 in there. A bit of class for the diplomatic missions. The Napoleon Bonaparte. That's right. Next piece I'd add, I'd add a fucking Zenith El Primero chronograph. Uh, next thing I would do is I would add a, you want to add something, I want to add a two-tone. You're going to turn 50. I reckon we go for a fucking root beer. Root beer. Because you you... You need a good, you've got a couple of Rolex divers. We need to add a root beer. Two-tone root beer would be fucking amazing for the diplomatic mission. Uh, what else would I add here? I reckon that's where I'd be heading. Uh, look, everyone gets in and out of the hobby. That's just how it goes. However, please, please, you've got to understand this hobby, right? This hobby. This hobby is what keeps us sane as middle-aged men, okay? Please don't fucking get out of the hobby. You had enough. You don't want to do this anymore. Please stop your fucking whiny, whiny complaints. I don't want to hear about it, okay? I don't want to fucking hear about it, okay? Don't, don't, just stop whinging. And fucking enjoy yourself. You've got beautiful watches. Um, look, sometimes we all get pissed off, okay? I agree. I get fucking pissed off. Most days I'm pissed off, okay? It's just, just fucking grow a set and deal with it, man. That's what you need to do. Grow a set and deal. Uh... Just deal with it. That's what I would fucking do, okay? Deal with this shit. That's what you got to do, man. Deal with it. Life, you know, come on, man. You got two kids. You got a wife. You got a job. You got a bit of money, okay? You're not super rich, but you're not fucking unemployed and on the streets. You got a bit of money. Fucking enjoy yourself. I, I personally, what would I ask? Stop your fucking whining. Maybe have an affair. That's what you need. Maybe an affair. If you're fucking stuck in a rut, a little bit of side pussy never fucking hurt anybody. Okay? A bit of side pussy. Okay? And then after bit, get yourself a Breguet Type 20. I reckon a... Um, I would add a, as I said, a Zenith. Also, another thing is a fucking... A Steel Reverso. Jager Le Coutre. You've already got a J JLC. Add a fucking Reverso. And if you want to hit the bitch out of the park, if you had some fucking brains, which clearly you don't, I'd be looking for an older woman with money who could get you a fucking gold reverso. That's where I'd be fucking steering the ship, okay? 
Uh, great collection. Beautiful collection. I love it. Don't sell a fucking thing. I think you need more sex in your life. I think this is the problem because you, you, you've achieved everything you could possibly want and something's lacking. You need good... You need a fuck once a day. That's what is needed. This is what's missing, okay? You got the collection. Now you need a good fuck every day. That's what you... I can see it's missing in your life. I can see what's missing. It's not the watches. It's your pathetic acceptance of less sex. Okay, I can see the problem a mile away. Less sex. You need more sex. Get a mistress and a girlfriend would be highly advised as well as keeping the wife in tow. That's what I reckon the, the problem is. Nice collection. Uh, enjoy the stuff. Enjoy the watches. Uh, add. Add to it. Add, and I get it. Sometimes we go through troughs and lows. You know, I got a, I got a BMW, BMW, and, you know, I, I got off watches for a bit. I love the car thing. Don't worry about it. You come back to watches. You always come back. Guys, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need more paid reviews. Paid reviews keep me full-time on YouTube. Guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and get a paid review. Paid reviews, 50 US dollars for a paid review. I'll tell you what I think. The good, the bad, the fucking ugly. If you're not getting enough sex, I will fucking tell you. I can. I, it comes through in these reviews. So, guys, until the next one, get a paid review. Look down in the description. And if you're buying or selling a watch in America, there's only one person I recommend, and that is... Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW.